This is Witchbase News for Friday the 19th of April 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news, Frontier Developments show off the next content update for Elite Dangerous. We get our first look at the interstellar initiatives replacing community goals and the Elite Community Meet is this weekend. If you enjoy our content then please remember to hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below. Frontier took to the live streams last night to show off the content update that's being launched on Tuesday of next week. The update is packed with features primarily aimed at newer players but it also contains some significant quality of life improvements that will affect all commanders. Of particular note in the demonstration were the new advanced docking computer that is able to launch as well as land your ship at a space station, spaceport or megaship. The Super Cruise Assist module that acts as a kind of cruise control in Super Cruise. Note it's not an autopilot. And it also puts your ship in a very cool little orbit once you reach your planet of choice. But there's also some new interface icons to better indicate what activities are available at a given location or what threat level it might pose. Your ship will also now have the option to auto throttle down when exiting hyperspace preventing you from crashing into inconveniently placed stars when reading discord chat or answering the doorbell. There's also a more in depth trade tools and a complete pilots handbook in the cockpit that details how to do just about everything in the game. As I've said before anything that brings new players into the game and then more importantly helps keep them there can only be a good thing for all players and for the future longevity of this glorious thing that we all love so much. As part of the livestream last night Frontier also played a really nicely produced promotional video for what they're calling interstellar initiatives. These initiatives are a replacement for the venerable community goal system and provide a more curated, developer supported experience that will in some cases at least change parts of the elite dangerous galaxy forever. The first initiative will see players voting on where they'd like to see a kind of ferry service megaship heading in order to gather guardian relics and then helping in the creation of that megaship. The first interstellar initiative called Bridging the Gap will start on April the 29th and is expected to last for about a month. It's fantastic to see new life being injected into the community goal idea and I'm excited to see groups of players all gathered around a common goal again this time with genuine galaxy changing consequences. Also Megaship Bus Service. How often does it run? Will we see other galaxy spanning ferry services? So many questions. The full promo video featuring the legend of Will Flanagan is linked below. It's quite excellent and well worth a look. A quick reminder that the Elite Community Meet, this years first major Elite Dangerous community gathering is happening in Manchester in the UK tomorrow. Unfortunately we can't get there this year. If you are going please take all the pictures that you can and grab all the video that you can so that the rest of us can at least share part of the experience vicariously with you. And finally we're very proud and excited to announce that we've recently been accepted into the Frontier Developments affiliation program. If you click below into our video descriptions you'll now find links to buy games and in game extras from Frontier that will help support this channel going forward. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>